Happy Saturday. The question, why am I here? Do you ask yourself that question? I have. But as I've come to understand it over time, and I've probably asked myself that question far too long, uh, but why am I here is a passive question. Who is going to answer that question? Are you gonna re do you rely upon someone else to answer that question for you? Or are you truly going inward to, and getting quiet to answer that question? Because if you're doing that, if you're sitting with self and you're going into a meditation of any sort, whatever, and listening enough for the whisper of inspiration or passion or, you know, whatever you want to quantify that inner calling to be, that's fantastic. But I think the why am I here is a bit passive as opposed to why do I, what do I want to be doing, right? The action. So if you're not sure and you're sitting and you're waiting for the whisper, you, or for me, like, I don't think for a long time I knew, I heard a, I heard a lot of voices. <laughs> I had a lot of inspiration or just, yeah, I guess inspiration, whether it was money, property, prestige, chasing all of those things of which <laughs> I don't have, but from friends that I've witnessed, like the answer isn't in the money, the property or the prestige. And I can take that and their experience and apply it to the worldly experience. Like, oh, okay. That's, he's reporting back to me that that's not the answer, that that's not the there there. And they thought that the answer was the career, the job, the promotion, the relationship. And they're reporting back to me that it's not, that they were just as confused. They were inspired, but they lost something in that and they chased the exterior. Because if you're sitting still long enough and quiet enough for the whisper, that's something interior and how can I satiate the calling from something outside? It's an inside job versus an outside job. The virtue of my actions help reinforce the interior not the facade. If I am patient enough to take the action to begin to discover or walk toward whatever I feel like is I'm inspired to try and to see if that matches or feeds the whisper inside and they're starting to resonate together and like, oh, okay, I really enjoy doing this, it satiates me. I, I feel fulfilled and I'm able to be of service to the work, to maybe my employer or my patrons. Um, but that begins to work. So it's, it's less about why am I here and this is why I'm here. And why you're doing what you're doing from a place of integrity and truth and honesty and courage. And that's only measured from the inside versus the facade or the other, you know, everyone else's perspective of how you think you're doing, which I've sometimes forget and fall into. You know, what does everybody else think about this? Is everybody else like this? Because if you like it, then I'll like it. As opposed to, I don't, I don't really like where this is at and I'm going to continue to keep going. And then I, you know, with my art, I tend to make something I like where it's at. And then I'm like, I think I want to go a little bit further. And then I, I overshoot the mark and then I get, I get to just continue to work on the same surface until I rediscover something I like again. That's why I go into layers and layers of things which I think is awesome for the metaphor of me or you or the experiences we have. Because being the, within those layers of the art that I've made are pieces of everything I like and dislike. That's 
life filtered through the subjective nature of me and filtered through your subjective nature, which is you. And we are together in this, but we are unique through our lens. So we're all one part of the whole and perfectly different and imperfectly the same. So I don't know. Big light, much love. Happy Saturday.